today we're planning to get the head on here and have it all timed and torqued but uh a process that i didn't really know too much about but apparently it's kind of common is uh what's the stone called here pat what stone so whetstone. So I guess the idea is the stone is, is flat or as flat as you're going to get anyways. And it'll take down any high points on the block. So any casting defects or any anything that the block has in it that isn't flush, basically. So a little bit of lubrication, WD-40. Yep. And just slowly run the block, o the block over the block. <laughs> And you can see where there was a high spot because th then it becomes shiny and that's how you know you've taken away something so you just go so light eh? you really don't need to put a ton of force into it we're just taking down the high spots so like literally thousands pretty pretty much nothing because this is aluminum it's a very soft metal so you do not need to push hard and you can see it works right away if it works for spacex parts <laughs> it's gonna work for this mazda speed block that's right so the idea is to do the block um, and then the head as well, same exact process. Machine shops, they'll do this with a, a straight up, I guess, a, a decking tool and then they'll also deck the head and that's how they do it. But uh, for the DIY guys, this is as good as we're gonna get. Um, we probably could have put the gasket on because the, the idea behind the gasket is it's gonna absorb any imperfections, but why risk it? It's, you know, two, two minutes of work and it's gonna be about as flat as we're gonna get it here. And it feels nice. The surface it leaves is good, eh? Turbo Yoda does it too. Yeah, it's common. Mighty Car Mods, tur Turbo Yoda, and that guy's built about 2 billion engines and they all probably still run. So now the head, my labor of love from yesterday. Some oil. Let's see if we can find a good example of a high spot here. Right there. Right there, yep. Once we wipe away gunk yep you can see where it took off right in the corner there the idea is to have no burrs and have a nice flat surface so that the gasket has to do minimal work because in a perfect world you wouldn't need a gasket right just like old volkswagen bugs <laughs> yeah the surfaces need to be machined real real good you really have no room for oh, that shiny wow spot right there the corner there even here a little bit and a lot of these nicks might even just be from me moving the head around because it's such soft metal, it doesn't take much, but again, no problem. These modern heads, you can rebuild and resurface these probably a hundred times before they need to get thrown out. But that's pretty much it for the stone. Okay, so before the head meets the block, it needs another bath. It's been bathed like so many times by me, but um, now just better safe than sorry. From what I've learned doing this process, it seems like 70% of building a motor is cleaning. 30% is actually like assembling stuff. So it's a labor of love, let me tell you. <laughs> this guy's over here air. laughing at me. Yeah, the compressed there is nice to have to help blow out any crap, help dry this stuff up. But yeah, this thing should be pretty clean. Again, as clean as we're going to get it for your DIY. But if we look at people like Turbo Yoda, he's building engines in the same place we are. Now, if this is a GTR engine? Yeah, a little different. A little different. <laughs> yes. Is he here? So even though the head looks clean, <laughs> a little bit of brake clean on a coffee filter and a little pass and all kinds of junk comes up so all I'm really doing here is just trying to make sure the surface is clean and there's nothing in there that's gonna fear with uh, interfere with the head gasket sealing so coffee filters work best because they don't leave lint behind a little bit of brake clean on it and that's it really just nicely wipe it down that's pretty much it that gasket's misaligned with that dowel. Good. That, that's working with Ian. It paid off. You're fussy. So we got the head on and the gasket's in there and you guys will see that little clip. But Pat's given some pro tips here. With so my ceremony is don't use too much oil. 
but also puts them under the head. Yeah, the idea is so that when you're torquing it, it's more, more accurate, but getting oil underneath helps when the bolt, I guess, actually touches the head. It's no friction, less friction, right? That's the idea anyways.